Howdy folks, welcome back. It's Donnie once again, and I am just going to continue this series on System D that I started. The first two videos, of course, I covered why it is that the Linux world is switching to System D, and uh, in the second video, I, I covered the fact that, hey, whether or not you like System D, if you're going to be a systems administrator, you can't avoid it. You have to learn System D because all the major players in the enterprise Linux market have switched to System D. So we're going to start here with just some very, very basic stuff about System D, and we're going to cover how you shut down and reboot a machine using the System D commands. Now, with System D, a lot of the old commands that you're used to using have been replaced with the system CTL command. And this is going to now be universal across all Linux distros that use system D. It used to be that when you did daemon management, you had your Red Hat style systems that would use one set of commands and utilities. Your Debian uh, would use another set of commands and utilities. And Ubuntu, once it switched to Upstart, had another set of commands and utilities, which I never did figure out on that. But uh, anyway, now that everybody's switching to System D, you're going to have the same System CTL commands across the board. So your daemon management is going to be done the same regardless now of which Linux distro you use. So uh, so on the Red Hat style systems, the system CTL replaces shutdown, service, and check config. And the service and check config, you know, they would be different, you know, on your Debian style systems. So shutting down or rebooting a machine that's using system D would look like this. You would have uh, pseudo system CTL power off to shut down the machine and pseudo system CTL. TL reboot to reboot a machine. And if you look at the man page for system CTL, you're going to see there are other options as well. You'd have the hibernate options uh, and a few others. But uh, those are the basics. Those are the two basic commands for powering off and rebooting with system CTL. Now, here's a slight little problem though. If you remember back in the old SysVNIT days, you had the shutdown command which had a really, really cool option for being able to schedule a shutdown or a reboot for some point in the future. So you could do a shutdown or a shutdown-r command and follow it by either a clock time or by the number of minutes into the future that you want that operation to occur. and uh, and it would happen automatically for you when the scheduled time came. So it was really, really cool, really good, right? Now the problem is uh, with the system CTL is system CTL power off, system CTL reboot do not have those options. So the only way you can use the system CTL power off or the system CTL reboot is to make that happen, to make that operation happen immediately. Okay, you, you cannot schedule it. It's just not there. But so, that begs the question then, what if you really do need to schedule a shutdown or a reboot for some point in the future? Well, the answer to that turns out is very easy. All you have to do is just use the old shutdown commands as you've been used to doing. And I haven't yet tested this on other Linux distros, but on Red Hat type systems at least, that still works and it works very well. And so we're just going to go ahead and we will take a look at how this happens. And we're going to see right here that I am logged into a CentOS 7 virtual machine. And so uh, CentOS 7, of course, is nothing in the world but Red Hat Enterprise version 7 with the Red Hat branding stripped out of it. So this is going to work then on all of your Red Hat style operating systems. So let's go ahead here first and we'll look at the system CTL man page. 
and we're going to search here for power off and we'll hit the end key so there's our power off option and so you can read there that the uh, there's nothing there okay which allows you to do the power off or the reboot for some point in the future when if you use the system CTL okay so we could do like this we'll test that out okay and so there's the basic command that would do the power off now if I do a do a, a number of minutes in the future or clock time either one the way that we used to do with the old shutdown you're going to see that it's not going to work it's going to give us an error message about it having too many arguments so that's okay though because if we do shut down do a which shut down you're going to see that it's still there okay so that command is still there and that command still works as we'll see right now and let's say just so that we won't be waiting too long let's say that we want to schedule this for two minutes into the future now it's sending out the broadcast messages it used to but one difference between how this used to work on the Red Hat 6 and previous family is that this automatically comes up in the background now so that actually improve the shutdown command even though it's supposed to be now a legacy command okay but uh, but uh, before with Red Hat 6 and previous if you did the shutdown command and had the shutdown scheduled for some point in the future then uh, you would lose your command line right because it would execute in the foreground but now with the CentOS 7 they've made an improvement on it. Uh, all I had to do was hit my enter key and it gave me my command line back. So uh, so that's really, really cool. You know, they, they actually made it better because it automatically goes in the background now. And of course, it's sending out a broadcast message. Uh, all I have to do is hit the enter key and I get my command line back again. Okay. But with CentOS 6 and before, it used to be that if you wanted the shutdown command to run in the background you actually had to tell it to run in the background it's not a big deal all you had to do was just put an ampersand at the end of the shutdown command and it would put it in the background uh, that way right uh, but uh, as I said you know now we've got this going in the background automatically we don't have to tell it to go in the background anymore okay so anyway, uh, we'll let this run here a little bit, and it sh you should see that it will go ahead and do the shutdown as it's supposed to. And there we go. Uh, the connection is closed, and we're back to the Fedora teaching command prompt. Uh, and of course, the Fedora machine being what I'm using right now to create the video. So yeah, it works fine. Okay, so the next step then will be to try this out on uh, on another distro and uh, I'm, I'm curious to see if it will work on Ubuntu uh, that now is using systemd so I'm just going to go ahead and pause this and uh, we'll come back when we've got the Ubuntu machine booted up okay folks we're back here logged into an Ubuntu server virtual machine and of course Ubuntu is also now running systemd and so we would normally be using uh, if we want to stick strictly to systemd commands we would be using the system CTL power off and system CTL reboot but I did look to see if the shutdown utility is here and it is and lo and behold we can do shutdown and this time just to see if the dash R option to reboot still works we'll do that and we can specify for two minutes in the future and we can see there that it does work and I and we also get our command line back here 
uh, just like happened with the uh, CentOS virtual machine, the CentOS 7 virtual machine. And, uh, uh, and, and again, this used to be the same way, you know, with the old non-System D versions of Ubuntu, you used to have to actually specify to put the shutdown command into the background. Okay, so you no longer have to do that. It goes into the background automatically. And something else, too, that I forgot to mention is the fact that when System D first came online, if you were to use the shutdown commands like this, you would get a message about how the shutdown utility has been deprecated and that you shouldn't use it anymore and that instead you should use the system CTL command. Well, they've taken that away. Apparently, they've decided to just uh, just stay with the shutdown commands anyway. Uh, just stick with the shutdown utility, which is actually a very good thing because systems administrators now have the option to use the shutdown and be able to to uh, have the flexibility of scheduling shutdowns and reboots for into the future the way that they used to. Okay, so. Uh, so really, that's pretty much it. And uh, you just look at the shutdown page. Look at the man page for shutdown. And uh, look at the different options there. And you're going to find that it's going to be pretty much the same as it used to be. Okay. So, so that's really pretty much it. Okay. Oh, one other a difference as well there the power off option the dash H for the power off uh, I just happened to notice I, I neglected to use that before uh, another difference with the shutdown uh, before is uh, you used to have to use the dash H option to actually power off the machine but I neglected to do it this time and yet it uh, it powered off anyway so just keep that in mind as well uh, if you ever do try to do a shutdown command on a distro and forget that power H uh, or forget that uh, uh, dash H option then and you see that it's not powering down then just go ahead and do the dash H the next time okay but anyway that's all I got for now and uh, stay tuned because I will be creating more system D tutorials and uh, Hopefully, we'll get everybody up to speed on the System D, and you will be ready then, you know, to uh, head out into the system administration world and uh, hopefully get you a good job with it. Okay? So, anyway, that's all I got for now, and we'll see you in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you later.